Welcome to our 13th annual Pet Holiday Memorial Service. My name is Andrew Blair, and I am the practice manager at Trenton Pet Hospital. And together with our team, we are privileged to bring you a virtual holiday memorial service. We are honored that you have joined us for this special time remembering. The holidays are a time for family, a time for gathering, a time to bring hearts and minds back home. Today, each person brings with them their individual journey. Some of you may feel alone or isolated in your grief, and others may still feel an emptiness left by the ones that they have lost. But no matter your journey or what brought you here today, we hope that you are moving forward and towards a peaceful heart. The defining trait that everyone is sharing a loss is comforting. Your heart may feel broken, and you may be searching for a way to put the pieces back together, but what better way than to share with others who have similar hurt? This gives us the opportunity to share in compassion, have a word, or just a moment in silence in what is known as a crazy, busy world. Today, we are companions, family sharing and loss, and we hope that the weight of the burden will be just a little lighter as we acknowledge and honor the special pets in each of our lives. A pet owner knows the immense joy and comfort what a, that an animal can provide, especially during troubled times. Pets are an important member of our family and irreplaceable friends. A growing body of research now documents the value of human-animal bond in child development, elderly care and mental illness, as well as physical impairment, dementia, abuse and trauma recovery, and rehab of the incarcerated young and adult. The healing and comfort that a pet can provide includes a range of relation, relational benefits from stress reduction and playfulness to loyal companionship, affection, comfort, security, and unconditional love. More than 50% of Canadian households own a pet of some kind. Dogs, cats, birds, and other companion animals are living in more than 5 million homes. For their owners, these animals are more than pets. They are part of the family. A recent survey of pet owners revealed that nearly 80% of respondents gave their pets holiday or birthday presents. More than 60% signed their pets' names on cards or letters. A slight majority, 51%, gave their pets human names, while virtually all pet owners talked to their pets. An astounding 94% spoke to their pets as though they were human. One third of respondents spoke to their pet on the telephone or via the answering machine while away and more than 90% of pet owners believe their pets were aware of their moods and emotions. Until one has loved an animal, a part of one's soul remains unawakened. Anatole France. Dogs go to heaven. You're the best friend I could ever ask for, the one I can talk to. You listen to everything I have to say. I'm really going to miss you. You're growing old and can't walk as fast. But don't you worry, I won't forget about our past. I love the comfort you offer, except when you chewed up my shoe. But it's okay, we all make mistakes. I'm really going to miss you. We love to play ball, chasing it down the hill. You're the hairiest of them all, but you still get the chills. It's almost time to go. Don't worry about me, just do it slow and forget all about all of the fleas. I love you with all of my heart, the best friend I'll ever have. I'm really going to miss you. I love you, and that will never change. Loss is something we all struggle with. Whether we lose a part of ourselves, a friendship or a loved one, it leaves a mark on our hearts. As time passes, that mark may turn into a scar, but the trick is to not let your scars define you. The secret is to use that scar as a reminder that those people, those pets, and those places were there to teach a lesson. I personally know and have seen firsthand that a pet teaches a lesson of growth, a lesson of compassion, and a lesson of unconditional love. Every day, they teach me to love as they love and forgive as they forgive. We are truly blessed to have these scars on our hearts that remind us of these lessons. Just the side of heaven is a place called the Rainbow Bridge. When a pet dies that has been especially close to someone here, that pet goes to the Rainbow Bridge. 
There are meadows and hills for all of our special friends so they can run and play together. There's plenty of food, water and sunshine and our friends are warm and comfortable. All the animals who had been ill and old are restored to health and vigor. Those who were hurt or maimed are made whole and strong again, just as we remember them in our dreams and days and time gone by. The animals are happy and content, except for one small thing. They miss someone very special to them who had to be left behind. They all run and play together, but the day comes when one suddenly stops and looks into the distance. His bright eyes are intent. His eager body quivers. Suddenly, he begins to run from the group, flying over the green grass, his legs carrying him faster and faster. You have been spotted. And when you and your special friend finally meet, you cling together in joyous reunion, never to be parted again. The happy kisses rain upon your face. Your hands again caress that beloved head, and you look once more to the trusting eyes of your pet. So long gone from your life, but never absent from your heart. Then you cross the rainbow bridge together. Author unknown.